Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to just show you this cute little project. It looks like this and it's on a plate. Uh, it's on a coupe plate. thing I want to say is this one is in acrylics. I am going to show you how to do it in fun strokes. So it might be a little bit different colors and stuff like that, but this is the plate we're going to do. So I'm going to show you that by, I'm going to show you this first because these are the colors we're using. We're using, um, Jumpin' Juniper, Tahiti Teal, Nutty For You, and Polar Bear. And we're using the Coop Salad Plate, number 1603. This is what we're going to do. I already did some ahead of time. This is the pattern you have, okay? So what you're going to do is put the pattern down. You're going to trace. I have already done this, but you're going to use a pencil. You're going to trace the whole pattern with a pencil. Then you're going to take um, your pattern and you're going to put it on your plate. And when you put this pattern on your plate and you have the pencil drawing, you're going to use the marker so that it bleeds through. But you're going to you're going to do just the line across here, the, the top hat, and then you're going to trace the mask. The rest you're going to trace after you put some paint on. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure it goes through. To the other side after you trace um, so we're gonna put that aside and then we're gonna start painting the first thing I'm gonna paint is the nutty for you which is the flesh color I'm using as you can see I did these two on ornaments and so you can use whatever color hat you want whatever design you want you can make the mask different colors, the skin different colors. Um, you can make eyelashes to make it a woman or do the man. I, whatever way, you know, you can do any of these. You can also make these into a magnet instead of an ornament. We do have three inch. Um, we do have these three inch. We have a square. We have a circle of these um, three inch biscuits that you could use. You could do this on a plate. You can do it on a coaster. A set of coasters would be really cute with these faces, which I'm going to do. You could also do it on a tile, um, six inch or four inch tile or an eight inch tile. I will also be firing this to see how this looks, but I did it on a mug and put Frontline Hero on the inside of the mug. It's a great gift for someone that does this, uh, that is on the front line. So anyway, okay, so, but I'm gonna show you how to do the plate today. So. You're gonna put three coats of this nutty for you on this, on the skin where the skin area is. Okay, now again, sometimes I use my um, my small, I use my small, this small little brush that I use for a lot of things that I've been showing you um, and I put it in the water I dab it in the water dab it off a little and then I get my nice even line by going like this I just keep dabbing it in the water here and I make my line a little bit straighter by doing this Okay, now I got that on. Now I'm gonna go with my next color, which I'm gonna use te Tahiti Teal. Now you can use a light blue. You can just use white for the mask. Ooh, did a little bit, way too much. Now, with this, I'm, I'm gonna wet my brush, uh, cleaned off my brush. Now I'm gonna take, I'm still using this, you know, one of these ra a round brush. Um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna water this down a little because I want this to be a very light blue. Okay, because I want the mask to be just light. I don't, I don't want it to be a, a heavy color blue on the mask because most of them are lightish, you know, like a whitish blue color. Some are light blue, some are white. Uh, nowadays, they're, they're doing every color under the sun, so we even got fancy designer masks now. Who would have ever thought we would have that? You can mix a little white into it too if you want to make it lighter and you want to make it solid. 
If you want to make it more solid, you can mix a little more white into it, but I'm just going to do it a little bit light with this color. I am going to fire this so you can see it. Um, I'm pretty set up at home. I got a very small kiln, enough to fit a mug or a plate in. <laughs> it's not very big. And uh, I was able to get some uh, some clear glaze, some dazzle dip, but I will probably brush it on and then fire it. I don't really have the space to dip it, but that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. Now you can let that dry. Now you got the, that part done. Now I'm going to do the top of the, the hat. I'm going to do it with jumping jelly. And I want those coats to be solid. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to put three coats of this on. I am going to put a few of using this darker color, using this darker um, teal, the, the jumping juniper. So it's darker than this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to dab it off a little bit so that it's still got water in it. And I'm going to side slide the brush so that just the side of my um, brush is loaded. And I'm just going to put a few lines in there like the creases that they have on a mask that's what I'm going to do this with just to put a few in there and that's it now I'm going to let this dry and then I'll show you what to do next okay now that my plate is dry now that this is all dry to the touch I'm going to take my pattern back and I'm going to line it up again and now I'm going to take my, my marker, get that lined up right, and now I'm going to trace the rest of it. So now I'm going to trace my eyes, make sure it's going through, it is, and so that I know where those go. You want to trace everything and don't forget your bands to trace in your little bands that go up around the ears. Okay, now make sure this is lined up correctly and you can trace, you know, put the other line in for the band because now you're on top of the green, the, the um, jumping jelly. You can put a flower or not, it's up to you. I'm going to put one flower. I'm not going to do all the flowers like I did with the acrylics. I'm going to do one flower and I might do some dots on this one instead. Okay, now you can either write this yourself or you can trace over what I wrote. I don't have the greatest handwriting, so if you want to write your own, do your own lettering, feel free to do that because... I don't have access to making the perfect letter, letters on the cutter right now, so I'm just drawing them in, and like I said, my writing ain't great. But we want to remember what these people are doing for us. Okay, so now you can see that's all done. Um, now I can go ahead and paint my eyes which I'm going to do with white, and I am going to do that with the fun writer. So I'm going to take the fun writer, and I'm going to put my white in. Actually, before you put your white in, you should do the blue. So I'm going to do the blue. On the other eye, I'm going to do the blue and show you how I'm going to do the eye before I do any go further than this. I'm going to already put that in, but okay, so now I'm going to take the blue. Now, I might just take the jumping juniper. I already have that in here. 
and I'm gonna give her that color eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this small brush, very small detail brush. Now I'm gonna show you with this eye what I'm, how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna color the whole eye in. That's what I do when I, usually I do the whole eye white if I'm using a brush, then I put the blue, then I put the black. But these eyes are pretty big, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna color that whole eye in blue. You should probably do this before you put the white, but this one I already have it, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Do the best they can not to mess it up. Okay, now I'm gonna do a second coat of this eye. But as I do the second coat, I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. And do the second coat, and while it's wet, this is what I do with the eyes. While it's wet, I'm gonna take and bring some white lines into the middle. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this, so that So it's not quite that, you know, of that color jumping juniper. It's more like a, uh, you know, I'm gonna bring these in so that, it's just into the center. So that's gonna give the eyes, you know, you have those little lines in there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna put that second coat on, being careful because I put the white in too quick on this one. But I'm gonna do this second coat Okay, I'm gonna have black up there, so I don't have to worry. Then I'm gonna take the white. Again, I'm gonna bring it from the inside of the eye. See how I'm making these little white lines? And they're all going towards the middle, just taking it out from the edge to the middle to give the eye a little better look than just, you know, coloring it solid. It kind of gives it some little lines in the eye, which is what we have if you look closely at them. That's it on the blue. Now, now I'm gonna do the white. Now, if instead of using the Fun Rider, if you brush the white on, you'll have to do a couple of coats, but I'm gonna show you how, now if I brush the right white on, it's gonna dry quicker, of course, than the, um, it doesn't dry as quick. Um, when you, you know, when you're doing the, it, it, like I'm doing the white right now and I'm brushing it on, it's gonna dry quicker than doing it with a fun writer. The fun writer tends to take a lot longer to dry, but then again, you, you know, one coat is usually good to cover it. Um, with this here, it's gonna dry, then I gotta put another coat on. So sometimes the fun writer is just easier to do it with. Okay, I gotta let that dry before I put any more on it. Now, this hat here, this little flower here, I want white, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna color those. Okay, now I'm gonna do my white. I'm gonna do these with Fun Rider because I don't wanna have to do these a bunch of coats, so I'm gonna Use the Fun Writer to color in these. I'm gonna go right over the edge so it looks, looks like it's around the face. Okay, now I gotta go back and put that extra coat of white on the eye because I didn't, because I didn't use a Fun Writer for this other eye. Okay, now I could let that dry, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a black Fun Rider bottle. Um, so I'm gonna take the Black Lab and I'll have that on the paper. Okay, take the Black Lab, shake it down, See if it's flowing out okay, and it is. So now I'm gonna start up here. Now 
I'm going to give it that scratchy look. I'm not going to try to make a perfect line. So remember, with the fun rider, you don't want to hold it up like this. You want to hold it flat like this. So when you squeeze it out, there's not tons coming out. I've got the yellow fine tip on here. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off now. I'm going to write copy in the, um, the thank you. I'm going to use the fine writer for this too. You can use a brush if you want. Small detail brush you can use to do this instead of the fun writer. I just love the fun writers. I work well with the fun writers. Okay, now put my line here for the nose where the nose is. Okay, now the eyes, what I'm going to do for the eyes is now I'm going to make my line going across. Like I said, if you feel steadier with a brush, you can use a brush. Um, and I put eyelashes on, just a few. I'm going to make my circle now if you have to pencil this in first you can do that if you have to go back to the let it dry use the pattern to do this again you can do that also um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my black but as you can see I drew it first I mean you could draw it in pencil first and then do this this is or you can trace it I just am able to you know see where the eye goes without doing that. Um, so I'm just gonna put my eyebrows in by just making little scratchy lines. You can just put late straight lines if you want to. Now I'm going to trace my mask. There's my mask. Now if you didn't want to put this Thank You Frontline Heroes 2020 on the top, you could always write it on the mask if you wanted to, um, just for something different. I want to make sure these eyes are even. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to do, I'm going to put a line on the bands. See, and I'm outlining everything with this fun writer. Like I said, it's still too damp to be doing, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, now you want to take polar bear and you want to uh, put a dot in the eye. Now, when you put a dot in the eye, make sure you put, if you put a dot here, put it over that side on that eye too. You don't want to put one over this side and then this one inside here because it's going to look cockeyed. So you want to, if you put the, you can put the dot on the left, on the other side of the eye. I can't say left or right here because of, I don't know, the camera, I'm not sure which way is right. This is right for me over here. But if you put it on this side, then put it on this side over here. You put it on this side, put it on that side over there. Now, sometimes when the eye is that big, you can put one dot. But if the eye is really big, sometimes I put another smaller dot right underneath it. Okay? That's just because it's a big eye. And sometimes, and you don't have to do this either, but I'll put a little thin highlight on the other side down the bottom on each so that's how my eyes look when I'm done instead of just one dot it just kind of gives them a little more dimension okay now you can this flower what I'm gonna do is now the hat is jumping jelly so I'm gonna take 
I'm adding colors as I'm going here. So now I'm adding this 2310 which I believe is teal tomorrow. Okay, so I'm adding this color too because now I wanna decorate my hat. And to decorate my hat, I'm gonna put this, this is Jumpin' Juniper, so this one kind of, this, uh, the, um, the teal tomorrow is the same shade, it's just darker. So, um, so all of these, the Tahiti teal, the Jumpin' Juniper, and the teal tomorrow um, are gonna go on this piece. Um, there are just different shades of this teal color and it's only I only do that because I am a matching fanatic I try to match everything and I can't help it sometimes I go off but when I do it stresses me out so I am doing this with this um, I'm matching so I'm gonna put a big dot of these are fun strokes so this I never put a pin in the tip so of course I am blocked okay so I'm gonna put a big dot right here then I am gonna make dots all over my plate using this teal tomorrow because it's a lot darker than this one just to give it I'm gonna make different size dots and stuff too okay now I'm gonna take the polar bear and I'm also See how I'm struggling to say, see how I'm saying polar bear and I'm not saying polar bear? That's because, you know, I'm just talking normal and not the way I normally talk, so I don't have to think about it. If I think about it, then I'll try to say polar bear just for you guys, but I really, you know, my Boston accent is polar bear. <laughs> and I would imagine most people in Boston do that, but not everybody. Okay, now that is very cute. So that's finished and I, I'm i gonna actually fire this tonight in that little tiny kiln just so you guys can see it finished. And I'm also gonna fire this one because this one's in fun strokes also with the same similar colors. So um, I'm gonna fire this one tonight too and see you know how that comes out. And I will definitely uh, show you the picture of that. So I hope you all stay healthy and have a good day. And when I get these fired, we'll attach it to this. Okay, see you later.